Okay, so usually I don't really do video blog stuff like this, like, you know, I don't really think there's much in my life that I really, you know, have enough of a right to just point a camera and be like, hey guys, look at this, but this is a little special treat for those of you who have uh, come in even for the soundtrack covers I've done of the soundtrack to uh, Midori Shoujo Tsubaki or just some followers of mine in general who like this sort of cool experimental Japanese stuff. I recently, um, I made a special order in Japan, uh, it's a little bookstore, and they were carrying an item that I never thought I would get my hands on. But, lo and behold, uh, just today, just today, I was just told that something came in the mail. Lo and behold, this right here is an original DVD copy of the Deaf Lullaby, or Nidoto Mizameno Komoe Uta, I don't know how you pronounce it. I love this sort of stuff, but I can't speak Japanese. You know, that's, uh, I'm terrible at multilingual, but, uh, uh, that's right here. Um, uh, it's a home print, uh, DVD. Uh, so, um, hand-signed, hand-autographed by Hiroshi Hirata himself. This is copy 271. And this whole DVD is a absolute gold mine of just cool little obscure things that Harada has done over the years. Like, um, I was already, like, you know, just a diehard fan. I picked this up just as a collector, just, you know, to go with Midori here. But I had no clue what would be in here. Would be uh, packaged in as little extras, because I've seen the film many times beforehand. I've, uh, you know, you can find it on YouTube right now, Duff Lullaby on YouTube. Uh, go, going by the Japanese title. But, um, not only is the transfer of this DVD actually higher quality than like all the compressed YouTube ones, it also comes with a lot of extras, both in the DVD and some in the, in the packaging itself. So, packaging here is a little bit weird, you know, it's, um, it doesn't come in a case as much as it does on a sort of sleeve. But, but, when you open it up, you realize it comes with all this cool extra stuff. Like, you have here a poster for the Deaf Lullaby. Not only that, but there's also there's some text stuff here, which I'm presuming is about the film and Hiroshi Hirata's filmography, but unfortunately I can't read Japanese, so I don't know anything about what it's saying here. But, one of the real surprises here is, um, this. This is a fold-out uh, reprint of a poster that Hiroshi Hirata did for his first animated feature, Limitless Paradise. And I'm going to put in a little cut here of a scan I did of the poster. The thing that's so cool about that is um, Limitless Paradise. The Death Lullaby was Hiroshi Hirata's uh, fourth film, I think. Limitless Paradise was his very first animated feature. Uh, Death Lullaby was around 20 minutes. Limitless Paradise was either an hour or nearly two hours long. That is crazy, you know? And a lot of the film is now lost because um, uh, they just uh, didn't preserve sort of uh, student films like that back then. So um, Hirata, uh, Hirata himself said that um, uh, the film essentially, um, since he didn't have like uh, any professional studio working on it, uh, he did all at home and so he would tape together Super 8mm with uh, basic, you know, home tape stuff, and essentially the film stock has degraded the point that um, it can't really be transferred anymore without damaging the film significantly. But, with this poster here, not only do you get um, some grainy but still some frames of the film, you also get to see some of the original character designs that Hiroshi Hirata did before his work in Midori, which is really, really cool. Some other things in here too is um, some re another reprint of the Death Lullaby poster. Uh, that one specifically is the one that you do see on IMDb stuff and stuff like that, but is much higher quality. And in the DVD itself, um, uh, it contains uh, several shorts that Harada did, which aren't online anywhere actually. One was an experimental video thing. Um, it does also have the uh, Zagreb film he did at the uh, anime convention, but also contains two animated works that aren't available anywhere. Uh, there's one where the soundtrack is available on YouTube, which appears to almost be like a predecessor 
or sort of fusion of uh, the Deaf Lullaby and uh, his most recent animated work, the Karakuri. It's sort of like a bridging point between those two films. And it's a digital experiment, kind of. Like, it's hand-painted stuff put through uh, digital effects. The other film is a very surprisingly abstract one. Uh, it's more like almost what you would expect from like some of the New York underground filmmakers. Like, uh, ah, shit, the only one I can think of off the top of my head right now is uh, uh, Richard Kern. Richard Kern. sort of uh, this thing where it's Ford Albino just flashing with all these different, different handwritten thoughts and um, that one was from sometime in the early 2000s I think and the last thing this contains is um, real surprise uh, an original trailer for Midori back when it was still screen uh, screening back in the early 1990s uh, the thing is, especially surprising about this trailer, is it features original songs from a film which are now lost due to the original uh, tapes and stuff being destroyed. Uh, it has a theme from the mutation scene, and uh, the song it plays when uh, the movie producer guy comes and tries to uh, have Midori star in a feature. Uh, it has that, but um, I I'm just really hyped right now. I mean, just not only the fact that I now have an autographed copy by the man himself. This is copy 271. I think it's out of a thousand or maybe 500. Um, but yeah, I just, this is so f***ing cool. I never thought that this would ever end up in my house because, you know, here I am all the way out in Atlanta, you know. But, lo and behold, 